Good afternoon. We gather once again as a school community united by faith to walk with Jesus as we pray the Stations of the Cross together this afternoon. At this time, I invite you to all stand and join in singing with one voice our opening hymn, Only This I Want, found on the cover of your Music for Stations booklet. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving God, your Son Jesus showed his great love for us by making the long, slow journey to his death on the cross. Because of his suffering and death, we have been freed from our sins. We are promised a place in heaven with you. Today, we unite ourselves with him by following in his footsteps along the way of the cross. May we learn to follow his way of love in all that we do. Help us reflect on the different stations so that we may appreciate all over again what Jesus did for us. We ask this in the name of your son, Jesus, who lived and died for us. Amen. Please remain standing as we begin our journey with Jesus. The first station, Jesus is condemned. The soldiers brought Jesus to the Roman governor to be judged. The people wanted Jesus to be punished. And even though the governor knew he was innocent, he gave in to the crowd. Jesus was condemned to death on the cross. 
Do you remember the last time your parents punished you? You probably felt hurt and angry, but deep down inside, you knew it was for your own good. You took your punishment because you know that your parents love you just as God loves his son. Together we pray, Lord Jesus, help me to always accept what God wants me to do. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. The soldiers brought the cross to Jesus and put it on his shoulders. He knew he was not guilty of any crime, but he accepted the heavy cross and carried it to show us how much he loves us. Sometimes things do not go as you want them to go, but you can't run away and take the easy way out. To really get anything out of life, you have to work at it every day. Jesus gave us his example. Even though it was hard and painful, he accepted all our sins and took up the cross. Lord Jesus, give me strength to do the things I don't like to do. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. Carrying the cross was not easy. It was rough and heavy. Jesus was tired and hurt from the beatings the soldiers gave him, and he fell to the ground under the weight of the cross. Remember the last time you received a bad mark on a test? And even though you tried very hard, you still got a poor mark. When you were disappointed, you may have thought of just giving up. Jesus didn't give up. Even though it hurt when he fell to the ground, he got up and went on. Lord Jesus, help us to keep trying to do our best for you. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother Mary. As Jesus looked around him, he saw and heard people cursing and laughing at him. He also saw his mother Mary, who could not get close enough to speak to him. But he knew she was there, and he was happy she was near to give him strength. When is the last time you did something for your mother? Have you ever thought of how much she has done for you? She has always been by your side when you needed her, and you have always been in her heart. Jesus didn't forget his mother Mary. When Jesus needed her, even though her sadness was great, Mary was there. Lord Jesus, help us to be grateful for those who love us. The fifth station, Simon helps to carry Jesus' cross. As Jesus carried the cross up the hill, the soldiers saw that he was very tired and weak. They did not want him to die on the road, so they pulled Simon out of the crowd and told him to help. To help a man on his way to be executed was difficult, but Simon did what was needed. Have you helped anyone lately? When you are playing games and someone falls down, you can help them up. Or, perhaps when you go to the store with your mother, you could show your love for her by carrying her packages. Can you refuse to do little things when you think of how Simon helped to carry the cross? Lord Jesus, Make us ready and willing to help our neighbor. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified? 
Sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Please be seated. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. All during his life, Jesus showed how he loved other people. He gave them food if they were hungry, sight if they were blind. While he was on his way to be crucified, a woman imitated his example and came out of the crowd to wipe his face to make him feel better. Making someone feel better is a good deed. A card or a visit to a sick friend is a small but kind act, especially if you took a little trouble to do it. Lord Jesus, help us to be thoughtful in all that we do in your name. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. Jesus found it very hard to get up after he fell a second time. The crowds of people pushed and pulled at him to make him get up and keep going. Jesus stood up and began to walk again. Have you ever been the only person to think something was right? Being left alone to fight for your point of view is difficult. Perhaps you were laughed at and made fun of by many people. But, like Jesus, you stood up for what was right. Lord Jesus, give me the strength to please you even when my friends refuse to do what is right. The eighth station, Jesus speaks to the women and children. The sight of Jesus with his torn clothes and bloody face made the women and children turn away and cry. Jesus did not want them to feel sorry for him so he told them to pray for themselves and their children who would have to suffer. Have you ever tried to comfort a sister or brother after you both were hurt or did not get something? Even though you may have been hurt, you tried to make your brother or sister feel better. This is what Jesus did. Even though he was hurt and sad, he had enough strength and feeling to stop and speak kindly to the women and children. Lord Jesus, help me to pay attention to the needs of others. The ninth station, Jesus falls a third time. As Jesus began to walk up the steep hill, he fell a third time. He was so tired he could not get up again. He was very embarrassed as the people laughed at him trying to get up again. No one is perfect. 
It is human to make mistakes. But we must learn to get up and do better from our falls. Even Jesus Christ, King of Kings, fell. But he always got up again and went on. Lord Jesus, even when I make mistakes, give me the strength to try again and again. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. At last, Jesus came to the top of the hill. The soldiers took the cross from him and tore his clothes off his body. He stood naked, ready to die on the cross. Has a crowd of people ever made fun of you? Maybe they did not even know they were hurting you by making you feel bad in front of everybody. This is what happened to Jesus. Yet, he did not complain. Lord Jesus, help me to not to be afraid of what others think or say about me. Make us strong when others are weak. Please stand. The eleventh station, Jesus is crucified. Jesus was held on the cross with large nails in his hands and feet. The soldiers left him hanging there in the hot sun for three hours so that he would die. Having to stay behind when someone is going fishing or to a circus is not easy. It can make us feel sad and even want to cry. But we should suffer bravely like Christ did when the soldiers drove nails into his hands and feet. Lord Jesus, help us to put up with the hard things in our world. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. As he hung on the cross, Jesus forgave the soldiers and prayed for his mother and friends. He told them he did everything his father wanted him to do for the world. He bowed his head and died. Sometimes people go out of their way for the good of others. Parents sacrifice because they want to give their children every good thing in life. 
Jesus wanted all of us to have the goodness of living with God. So he died on the cross for us. Lord Jesus, make us willing to work and share for you and for other people. The 13th station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. After Jesus died, his friend Joseph took the body from the cross. Joseph was very sad as he wiped away the blood and cleaned the cuts that covered the body of Jesus. He then prepared the body for burial. It is a very kind and loving thing to care for someone else. When we care for a friend, it is easy. But we must learn to give as much care to one who doesn't like us as we would give to a friend. Then we are showing our real love for them. Lord Jesus, teach us to care for everyone. The 14th station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. Joseph took the body of Jesus and laid it in a tomb cut out of a rock. He rolled a large stone in front of the tomb and then sadly went home. Jesus was buried. When is the last time you shared with someone? Sharing what you don't want or sharing unwillingly is not friendly or right. But when you willingly share something dear to you, you are rewarded by having more left for yourself. Joseph shared something special with Jesus. Because he loved him so much, he gave Jesus his own tomb. Lord Jesus, help us learn how to share with other boys and girls. The 15th station, the resurrection. Jesus did not disappoint his friends. On Easter Sunday, he came back to speak with them. He told them to be happy, for he would help them live with him forever. Yes, this is not the end of the story. We have good news to tell. Jesus really came back to life and promised we would live with him. Let us tell everyone that this is a day to be happy. Remember the last time you were bursting with joy? You wanted to tell everyone about your happiness. This is how Jesus wants us to feel every day, when we remember that he is risen and with us again. Lord Jesus, we rejoice with you and pray for our own day of glory. Tremble, tremble. 
Please kneel. Loving God, help us remember that Jesus did not suffer and die in vain. Let us not leave this journey in tears and sadness. Let us not leave Jesus in the darkness of the tomb. Help us to remember the joy and wonder that will follow. As we leave here today, may our lives reflect the same unselfish love that Jesus showed for us. We thank you for the lesson of this journey. We thank you for the gift of your son, Jesus. May he live in our hearts and our lives forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now I ask you to please stand and join in our closing hymn, which will be found on the back cover of your stations booklet, Lift High the Cross. This concludes our journey with Jesus today. Go in peace.